Okay, ladies, gentlemen, and scoundrels, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Adam, and I'm going to be doing a review of the Stoke Gridiron Grill. This grill is very portable. I like the, the design. Um, there are some flaws with it where we will go over and um, some interesting things, but uh, I'm going to cover the instructions, uh, how easy it was to assemble, the actual design of the grill, the ease of the use, how easy it is to clean, build quality, storage, and the portability of the grill. So let's get to it. Now, let's see. Here it is right here. Bring it out. Off this ledge. Compared to other portable grills, what I liked is it had these legs here and you could store it vertically. Um, that seemed pretty cool. With the grill. So I'll bring it out. And all you need to do is put your foot right here. Pop it out. Pretty cool. Get it done right. And it locks just like that. Now, something that you can't really look at with the grill before you buy it, per se, is um, the quality of the build. Something that really kind of bothered me here was this latch. It's not aligned very well. It's kind of blocked by the handle here, but if you look, it's off a bit with the latch. See that? Right there. So that is a detractor. Also the latch pins here that hold it together do not look very sturdy. If you take a look at these pop rivets, as they're called, the little tiny ones, I can see these melting off eventually. I don't know if we can get a good look here or not. Um, the welds, this is a little uh, tack right here. Uh, I can see that falling apart pretty quick after being used for quite some time, being abused. There's another tack weld right here. Really just little zip welds here, probably with a MIG uh, welder. Poor, poor, uh, build here in that regard. Um, it's got a nice little thermometer here. What I do like about it is that you can take this grill, the actual grill grill part, apart pretty easily to clean. I like that. You'll see here that I've lined it with aluminum foil to help keep it clean. One thing I warn you about though is if you use aluminum foil, it might interfere with the igniter under here. Might be able to see that or not. But uh, I just use matches. Um, let's see. Not really too many places to put your grilling instruments, so like nothing to hang it off of. It'd be nice if it had some teeth or something where you could. Uh, put your tongs or your flipper or other utensils to cook with and you can hang it by a string or something like that. But uh, overall, I could definitely see this being put in a car and drug someplace, like I said earlier, for camping, uh, music festival or out on picnic or whatnot. It uses the small propane tanks like this. 
You can get an adapter, which I will show you in a moment if you want to use it at home. These can get pretty expensive if you do a lot of grilling at home. Um, so I'd only use those uh, for going out and about. What we went ahead and did was buy an adapter hose to a bigger propane tank. I think that's 20 gallons if I'm, my memory serves me right. I still use a little protection here to the brass fitting. Help protect it like that. Now in terms of the instructions and the assembly of the Stoke grill, uh, pretty easy, not too hard. I don't have a lot of tools where I'm currently at right now, so I was pretty happy about that. Some few minor things about the instructions with this was I found kind of weird was attaching the wheels, slide the axle through the square hole in the left stand leg and then through the round hole in the right stand leg. Well, in terms of what leg is what and all this jazz, you know, left, right, is that the left and the right? Is this left and right? Uh, kind of uh, vague or ambiguous in terms of the instructions there. Um, you know, if it said something like, you know, facing the front of the grill, insert the axle, and etc., etc., you know, give me some type of orientation, that would have been great. Um, another thing that I'm going to warn you about if you do buy the gridiron grill is the battery for the igniter. They give you a battery. Thing is, when I put it in there, I don't like to pick things apart per se because, uh, you know, once you mess something up, you can't fix it. Uh, the battery has a thin film or plastic uh, wrap on it, which was hard to figure out because it's so thin. It looks like it's just part of the, the outer casing of the battery. So when it tells you to insert the AAA battery into the grill, make sure you take the plastic um, film off of it, uh, you know, the plastic wrap. Uh, so, in terms of assembly, we're going to do a, a, a 1 to 10 on this, 10 being the best, 1 being the worst for this grill. I think assembly was really easy, so, um, and the instructions were a little weird, so we'll give it a 9 there. For the, the design, um, I like the design, I like that you can fold up the legs uh, compared to other portable grills that uh, you might have to put on a tailgate or put on something. I was looking for something that had some legs so I wouldn't have to stoop down and cook and whatnot or put it on some type of a table or something unstable. Definitely don't want to be cooking with open flame on something unstable. Uh, one thing in terms of the de design, however, is uh, when you fold this thing up, you're going to have to make sure that you clean it. Um, I'm going to have to clean this better, actually, because it will leak down when you fold it up into a vertical position. You'll have fat or remnants of your cooking that will leak down the side here to the ground. So either put something absorbent in the grill or where we store it, we just, as you can see, use a little stain. We put some plastic and cardboard here, plastic sheet, uh, garbage bag, the cardboard to absorb and the sheet to protect the ground there with a plastic garbage bag. But if you're going to store it vertically, I'd suggest you put something absorbent down here because uh, you will get some remnants or grease or fat or what have you down there. Um, so, you know, clean it often. Clean the grill often and also use some absorbent there. So design, we're going to give it a 9. Ease of use, a 9. Cleanability, a 9. Build quality, a 3. Storage, um, easy to store, easy to use, 10. Portability, uh, compared to other grills, smaller grills out there, we'll give it a 7 because there are other ones that are portable. 
The instructions I'll give about a nine. Um, one other thing that I wanted to share about this grill is that it comes with a pizza stone. Why it comes with a pizza stone, I have no idea why. I'm going to show you the pizza stone right now. I think, honestly, and uh, this is just my opinion here, that pizza stone was included for marketing. Maybe if there's couples looking for grills, it would attract uh, the lady of the couple for making pizza or whatnot. Or if you got a guy who, lo everyone loves pizza, guy or girl for that matter. But I just think in terms of marketability, uh, they're trying to get you. Because, um, you know, if I'm gonna be doing some grilling, uh, I really don't really gonna be considering a pizza or a pizza stone for that matter. What I would have preferred is like a cast iron plate that I could have used to cook with a pot or a pan. So here we have the pizza stone by Stoke right there. So um, I don't really foresee using this to cook pizza. What I am going to do, however, is I'm going to try using the pizza stone to cook something in a pan or a pot. You know, uh, for example, if you're camping or out and about and you want to boil some beans or make coffee or you know, cook fried eggs or something like that, I would have preferred, like I said, like a cast iron plate to be able to do that. I don't know if this, this pizza stone is going to be able to handle the heat from another piece of metal there. We'll find out, I guess. But uh, I'm not going to be using it for a pizza, making a pizza by any means. So um, you know, that's my opinion about that. So again, you know, maybe trying to market it if there's a couple or one not, and uh, they want to try to get the approval of a spouse or a significant other who doesn't do the grilling and they want a pizza. Um, you know, as people do like to make homemade pizza or like at least the idea of it. So, um, maybe that was it or if someone else, uh, you know, it's just the, the one catch or the hook, so to speak, for the, the grill, you know, for people to actually plunge ahead and purchase it. And like I said, I, I like this design. One thing I will tell you that if you do buy this grill, Try to keep most of your cooking on this insert right here because it just makes it so much easier to clean. Otherwise, say schmutz. Um, you know, if you're doing a bigger outing or whatnot, you know, absolutely use these outer parts. But try to just keep it all here. That way it's just easier to clean, easier in terms of upkeep and whatnot. Uh, as you can see here, I put some aluminum foil. Um, I poke holes in it where they have their uh, intakes for air, so they actually get some combustion in there. And I put a hole right here for the, the grease trap as well. I'll show you the grease trap. Uh, the grease trap. I also line with foil and I put um, paper towel. So I don't have to clean that, it makes it easier. So if you're doing a lot of cooking for a lot of people, you might want to keep track of where, what's going on with that in terms of it filling up and everything. But, uh, you know, I don't really see this grill lasting for years on years and years. I mean, it might last a little bit, but these welds, ugh, terrible. And uh, some of these nuts and bolts and screws and whatnot are, look like they're gonna go eventually. Well, there you go. All right, so let's take a look at folding this thing back up. Always make sure you have the last shut for you know, trying to fold it up. I did that once and it all went banging and clanging onto the ground. So, seems pretty light. And maybe I'll say more medium in terms of weight. So if you're a smaller frame or if you're some type of handicapped, 
maybe this wouldn't be a good grill for you, but uh, you know, maybe a smaller grill. But this is not too bad, I don't think, in terms of that. But you know, in terms of just folding it up, uh, just like this. And again, get a better look at. those vent holes I was talking about. Make sure that if you line it with aluminum that you plump, punch some holes in there. And uh, like I said, the aluminum foil is gonna interfere with the arc that's formed when you press that button to try to start your grill. Um, it can interfere with uh, the electric starter if you put aluminum foil in there to line it to make it easier to clean. So I'd suggest using matches, wooden matches with the Oh, a little rod right here. You can see some remnants there of my matches. If you're going to use aluminum foil, uh, the electrical charge, the arc that it's going to try to make there, it's going to end up being interfered with. But anyway, uh, as you can see, it's a nice portable grill. And try to maintain this thing as nice as possible and keep it relatively clean because um, I like it. Otherwise, I wish those welds were a little bit better and, and whatnot in this latch, for that matter. But uh, you get what you pay for, I guess. All right, gang, I'm going to revise and edit my score from earlier on a scale of 1 to 10 on several categories here. Um... Yeah, due to novice editing and trying to get this up on YouTube in a quick fashion. So, first one we're going to start with here is assembly. I'm going to give it a 9 because it was relatively easy to do. Uh, here we got design in terms of, uh, you know, how uh, it functions and whatnot. Uh, I'm going to give it a 7 because of those things I mentioned earlier in the review. Ease of use, I'm going to give it about a 9. Cleanability, I'm going to give it about an 8. Build quality, that's still going to stick at a 3 here. Storage capacity, i got to compare this to other smaller grills here. So um, I'm going to look at giving it a 7. Portability, again, comparing it to other grills that are smaller and supposed to be carted around and whatnot, I'm going to give it a 6. And the instructions, I'm going to give it about a 9. And that gives us an overall rating of, drum roll please, 7.25 out of 10. There is no science behind this. Hopefully this just gives you some ideas. If this is a grill you want, and I hope you find this helpful. So I hope you enjoyed this review. Please like or subscribe. And uh, this channel is not just going to be about grilling, but just a, a variety of things that I have interest in. For example, music, sports, cooking, uh, art, um, and other great things as well. Uh, hopefully get uh, out of my car a bit, get in and uh, get some good motorcycle logs in here working on that. You want to purchase a, a GoPro Karma drone and see about trying to get some great footage. So hopefully all you folks will enjoy what I have to offer you and also some tips and tricks and things about trying to help you with your life as well. Uh, things that helped me in being a success uh, with different things. That's about it, ladies, gentlemen, and scoundrels. This is Adam signing off. God bless.